Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on, and I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy coming towards you in the next couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Capricorns for their highest and greatest good. Okay, you're showing up as the Five of Wands in reverse. You're viewing your person as the Queen of Pentacles and the connection as the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Your person could be a Cancer or Pisces, or they could be an empath or an intuitive. They're viewing you as the King of Wands. Ooh, very sexy, very attractive. And they're viewing the connection as the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, I do feel like this is either somebody you, you haven't gotten together with yet, Capricorn, or this is somebody that you're in separation from. The Queen of Swords in reverse can be an X. All right, and we've got, yep, we definitely have some conflict here, detachment, wanting to heal, so expect big changes. And I'm hearing the worst is over. And the Empress energy in reverse, Taurus and Libra and energy. Okay, so for a lot of you, this is a connection that really wasn't able to go where you wanted it to go. The Empress in reverse, Taurus and Libra and energy can also be an indication of third party involvement. It doesn't have to be a romantic rival, though. But I also feel that somebody here might be bringing past baggage to this connection. Now, I feel with double nines showing up, you need to pay attention to that number sequence and triple fives, also important. Just little reminders from your angels and guides, giving you some guidance and support when it comes to this connection or just your love life in general. But, you know, I'm kind of getting Capricorn. I'm okay. I'm, I'm kind of getting that your person might be a little bit worried that there's something that's happened in the past, either between you two or a previous relationship that may be causing you to be a bit detached or is just causing conflict in this connection. Now, obviously that could be how you feel about them. So just play with the energy there that I'm picking up on. But the five of wands in reverse tells me you want no drama. You want stability. You're over drama or people that bring you drama and the eight of cups energy in reverse. Yeah, a lot of you... Um, you do want to be back together with this person. You do want to heal things with this person. But you're feeling confused and you're wondering if it can be like drama free. Can it be stable and secure? The Queen of Pentacles here. You see this person as somebody you would like to marry or you would like to be in a higher level of commitment with. This is somebody who takes good care of themselves, their house, their home, their finances. The Queen of Pentacles is, you know, she's a mother. She's a wife. Again. Remember, my readings are not gender specific, even if I'm using words like mother, wife, right? And the two of wands in reverse. It's like you've made up your mind about this person. You see them as somebody that you would like to be involved with, that you would like to heal things with. But there's something about the past. Maybe you're worried their past is blocking forward movement here, that they still have some old wounds that need to be healed, or maybe someone from their past reached out or that you feel like they're not over someone from their past but there's definitely something unhealthy with this connection that you're picking up on i think you're both picking up on it because the nine of pentacles in reverse certainly can indicate a level of codependency now maybe you felt like this person was pretty clingy or maybe you felt like they were jealous and probably because that comes from infidelity or betrayal in previous relationships you, you do see, though, that this is a connection to get on the same page. It is going to take some work. Yeah, and the Nine of Swords, triple nines coming out, triple fives. So pay attention to those number sequences. This is something that keeps you up at night. This is something that brings you some anxiety about whether or not this connection can get on the right page, if it can get on the right track, if it can be something healthy, solid, stable, and secure. The high priest is here again. Your person is very creative, highly intuitive. I feel they're quite free spirited. And we see the magician energy in reverse, but your person's not taking action. 
Maybe you feel like they were dishonest with you in some way. I also feel like there's like this person's not taking action. They're not communicating. They might be in hiding. They might be avoidant right now. Again, that might also be what's kind of freaking you out here. They're viewing you as the king of wands. This, uh, Sorry, this person also might be a little bit worried that you're out of their league, Capricorn, or they don't have everything that you need. Like, I do feel some of you, you're a bit more mature than them. Now, that could be an age difference, but it could just be like you're just a bit more emotionally evolved. And they may know that because I'm wondering if this person brought you a lot of drama and you gave them a talking to. Um, they're seeing you as the king of wands. They're very physically attracted to you. They like your power. They like your strength. Um... They like, you know, how you handle yourself, especially for those of you that are, you know, that identify more as the masculine energy. But I feel they're more in a distorted feminine energy, but we'll see. And you are their wish fulfillment. Yeah, you are their wish fulfillment. They have a really good time with you. Um, maybe some of my Capricorns, you know, that was maybe an issue here, though. Maybe you felt like you wanted to move things along or you wanted something more serious. This person feels like the Queen of Swords in reverse. There's something that either needs to be let go of here in order. There's something that needs to be let go of so you two can get into the same frequency, so that you two can heal things. This person is patient. I feel like they have hope that you're going to reach out. Maybe they're waiting to hear from you. Maybe you needed some time here, Capricorn. I also feel like this person's very strategic. Be careful because I also feel like this person's not talking to you for a reason. And some of you that might really piss you off because it can come off as game playing, but this person might do things like that. Like if they get angry or upset or annoyed, like not talk to you for three days, but then they plan on reaching out. You know, it's okay to give people space, but at the same time, it does feel a little bit like game playing. I, I just kind of pick up on this person being a little bit less emotionally mature or evolved. So with the Five of Swords, there's definitely been some mental conflict here and possible rejection. And I kind of feel like some of my Capricorns, you are here on the fence about whether or not this is something that you want to put the work in. You know, I feel like, I feel like you know it's going to take some work. I think you're very attracted to this person. I think for a large part, you know what you want, but there is a big question mark about whether or not it's an uphill battle or there are too many obstacles the Five of Cups in reverse tells me that there's potential for healing in this connection If for those of you that want it. Yeah, and things can move forward. You can manifest what you want, but it's going to require a lot of communication, a lot of open communication. And I'm hearing the Nine of Swords, the worst is over. Those of you who are stressing or feeling anxious or nervous about this connection, you or them, that's going to come to an end. Like things are only going to get better from here is what I'm hearing. And there's potential for healing. But Spirit's also saying, Capricorn, remember that worry does not change an outcome. And there's something here that you're not seeing. Some of you, you're stuck. You're going round and round in your head. And there's a, and, and I know that's very easy to do in a situation like this or where there's been drama or potential separation. Um, but I, I do feel there's going to be there's going to be communication soon that's going to sort of help you move forward or see the path forward with this person. So let's see. What else do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about them? Okay, so they're transcending obstacles. They're learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Okay, so I do feel this person can overcome. Like, I feel like maybe they're distorted feminine energy. They're penchant for drama. This emotional immaturity that I'm picking up on. Yeah, but this person, hmm. But this person, they may be currently spending a lot of time with friends. They may appear like they're moving on, that they're happily single, they're having fun. But I actually feel like they are quite stressed about this connection. Some of my Capricorns, like you might feel like they're capricious or they've been flippant with you. And if you have cut them off, like they're 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 just like okay fine I'm gonna move on moving on right like that's their attitude if they are or not let's see and you're yeah you're the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life and yeah so I'm seeing here my Capricorns you're in a much more pessimistic attitude about this connection a lot of you even though you would you would you're thinking about a return here. You feel like this person's embedded in the past and you're really in your head about whether or not you should give to this connection. And a lot of you, because you see this person is not putting in the work, they're, they're not reaching out, 
they're just kind of like moving on and being single. And I feel that's really stressful. Some of you, you don't understand like how they could do that so quickly or act that way. But you are dealing with somebody who's listening to their ego or has a very strong ego. They may be a runner or they want you to chase them rather. So a lot of my Capricorns, you're kind of operating from this place of, okay, it's over. Like this person's moving on. They're not giving me the time of day or they're not trying to heal things. But Spirit's showing me that there's potential for healing. But they're just strategizing. But I, I, it makes me a little bit uncomfortable because I don't like that strategy because it, to me it feels manipulative. It feels like, okay, I'm playing games rather than just taking time to you know get your thoughts together or to cool off to see how this can be resolved. And we see healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, and being happier. So Spirit saying Capricorn, you know, it is, you do have to be very discerning about whether or not you do want to reinitiate things or if this person, not if, when this person comes back around, whether or not you're going to, you know, drama can be resolved or that you can have the relationship with the type of person that you're looking for. All right, let's see. What are the lessons that need or needed to be learned or that we're not seeing here with this connection for my Capricorns? A new life. So your life as you know it looks differently than before or it soon will. Yeah, and I, I actually see you coming out of this Nine of Swords energy. Like there's, there's the worst is over is what I'm hearing. All right, and detachment. Yeah, subtract your own agenda from the goal. Let go of the tight hold you have on this situation. There's a higher power at work. So Spirit's saying, you know what? Just detach from the outcome here. Practice the oh well principle. And maybe it's easier said than done. But Spirit is saying to detach, focus on you. What's meant for you is never going to pass you by Capricorn, right? Okay, and so just, and just remember stress, like stressing or worrying about a situation isn't going to change the outcome. There were too many cards that popped out. What's going on with your person? What are their lessons or what's going on behind the scenes? Healer. Some of you, they are a healer. They're, you know, they're maybe a psychic, an empath, or they do energy healing, acupuncture, massage. Um, but you're gifted with the ability to, to heal through words, thoughts, touch, and actions. You may also explore healing work. So they might be focused on healing work. Some of you, like they're going to school for that or taking courses online. But this person can heal the situation if they want to, if they like really, you know, put on their big girl or the big boy pants and get out of ego. This person certainly can heal things with you if they choose or if they, you know, I mean, obviously it's not completely all up to them, but, you know, I do feel there's an ability to heal this situation if they show up for you, if they meet you halfway and we see signs and if they grow up, that's kind of what I'm getting. Um, the universe is communicating to you through numbers, symbols, and other signs. Watch for them as they hold a deeper meaning for your life. So this person's getting a lot of signs and synchronicities, a lot of reminders about you. And we see together there's a heart opening. So anahata is the energy of love within you. Opening the heart chakra fills you with love, forgiveness, and compassion. Yeah, so there's definitely a heart chakra healing that needs to take place here. Let's see... There's, there's potential for healing, even though it might not look like it right now, because it's like, it looks like they're trying to like heal and move on and be single. And it looks like you feel like things are over and, you know, you don't really want to chase this person, but then we get all these healing messages. So again, there might be a bit major surprise here coming for you with this connection, but again, but spirits messages do what's healthy and what feels right for you. All right, sorry, I keep picking up the wrong decks. <laughs> Let's see, what do they want to say to you? What do they want my Capricorns to know? I got spooked, I got scared. And would you reject me? So they're not sure if they would come back around, if they were to come back around, if you would accept them or not. And I can't seem to find the right words to say to you. So they still don't know exactly what to say to you. My apologies about the background noise. We're going to end this reading Capricorn with, <clears throat> and you're going to get, you're going to get a cacophony of noises there from my small min pin. All right, let's see. <clears throat> what are their very next actions towards my Capricorns? Ten of cups. Mm, this person's going to reach out. They're, they are going to reach out. I, I feel like they're going to do a 180. Again, you're going to have to decide if that works for you. 
And there's still some ego energy at play. And we also see the emperor energy in reverse telling me that this person, they're very my way or the highway. They may be in a bit of a selfish energy. So you do have to be aware of that. If this is something you want to engage in, something you want to involve yourself with again, okay? Let me know, Capricorns, in the comment section down below how you feel, if you know who I'm talking about, how this resonates with you. I love reading your comments. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.